Howdy folks, this is Caveman Pacific Northwest. This is my father Mike here and we're going to tell you about our saw collection today. First up in the grab bag here we have a Husqvarna 266 XP. It's a small cube saw with lots of good power to weight ratio. They were the go-to saw back in the 80s for the cutters around here due to their light size and the ability to port them and make them really run with a larger bar and chain more than they were intended for. Uh, very good all-around saw. Very fun to operate due to the history of it. It is part of my collection. Next that we have in our saw collection here will be the Husky 2101 XP. I've got a 36 on it now. Currently it will pull a 60 inch bar not a problem even with 404 chain it's 99 cc's basically a dirt bike motor with handlebars on it it will pull running a velocity stack here with a foam filter on it that was a popular method that the cutters used back in the day and still use today the saw is in its unaltered form it's just stock it has not been ported it has been converted over to a thin ring which makes for a little more oomph and rpm as well but other than that, she is stock and very collectible, highly sought after saw. Next out of the gate, this is my 372 XP that my dad gave me for birthday present several years ago. Um, this is basically my firewood getter saw for hunting camp now. Um, I do a little light falling for friends and things like that, but this is an excellent running chainsaw. I believe it's probably had some port work done as it is just an animal. Uh, anytime we're cutting wood, this thing does everything I ask of it and more. It's got a 32 inch Samura bar on there, uh, 3 8 chisel bit skip tooth chain on it, and uh, this is an excellent chainsaw. Yeah, we'll bring out the goodie bag here. <laughs> this is Husqvarna 395 XP. She has been ported and tweaked. Dual port muffler with fire screens in place. It's a ripper. I bought it freshly built, ready to go. It is one of my favorite saws in the collection as it does do everything it needs to do. It's currently sporting a 36 inch bar. 38 skip tooth 75 CJ chain. Uh, it will pull a 50 inch bar. I run just a 7 pin sprocket on here, nothing fancy. It is a workhorse. It's very loud, sometimes obnoxious sounding. You do want to wear hearing protection. You sound, stand in front of it, it'll rattle your eardrums. I can attest to that personally. But it's one of my favorites in the collection. I do use it quite often. But uh, that being said, none of the other saws are slouches, they just are in their stock form. Next we have the old tried and true 300th anniversary edition 288 XP, 32 inch Sugihara. Uh, very nice used saw that I picked up for my collection. It does have some road rash on the cases and different things that have happened, but she is in her stock form, just an old workhorse. I can fire it up at any time and go to work with it and it runs just how it's supposed to. Eventually I will be porting this saw and doing some work to it to make it uh, kind of a sheep and wolf clothing, so to speak. They've never been known to be a high winding saw, just a good powerful work saw, and that's what I want to use it for. I've got a little 372 XP here with a 28 inch bar. It's just a saw I picked up for occasional incidental tree removal or firewood. Good all around saw. It's got upgraded bucking dogs. Pro safety bucking dogs are really handy. You can buy them for just about any saw. They work well. Of course the full wrap and all of that. She runs good. Uh, very handy saw to have in the back of your truck with a shorter bar. It's big enough to get through so you're standing up and bucking, not kneeling down trying to cut some wood. Uh, 
Last but not least, it's a new saw to my collection is the MS361C. I plan on doing some upgrades to it. It fires up cold first pull usually. Uh, I'm going to switch it over to a full wrap, get a West Coast clutch cover from Gordy up there, and maybe a bark box. I'll try that out. I've heard cons and pros to that due to the exhaust blowing out when you're facing up a tree, for, for instance. But other than that, I'm willing to give it a try. I guess they increase the noise and the horsepower by 6 to 8%, something like that. Other than that, she's a fairly good looking saw and like I say I have nothing against steel I just been collecting these huskies for a while I think it'll make a great addition to my collection thanks a lot thanks for watching folks